Now we're going to take a look at an open guard pass or a seated guard pass called the knee drive. As you start to progress through ranks and people build concepts of open guard and seated guard, it can be very difficult to pass someone's guard. Let's look at a very dominating, very uncomfortable, and very high percentage way to pass that guard. Allen's decided he wants to play open guard and he's in this seated position. There are two ways that we can do this. One, we can aim to get the underhook first, which is the easier way if we can get it, but good people don't let us do it. Or we can just step in and worry about driving with the knee after, okay? So the first way, elbow to knee, okay? And I'm gonna step this foot into that space in there. It is important that this spear tip goes into his armpit, okay? I come here, and you can see my whole body is bent down at my legs. One of the big mistakes people make is they step, stay bent like this and they step in. That's a great way to get your arm and leg hugged together and the next thing you know, you're face planting on the mat. We don't want that, okay? So make sure you bend at the legs and when we step in that we're squatted using the leg power, not our hips. So I'm here and I step in. You can see I've got good base right here. Now, here comes the knee drive part. Straighten out this leg and lift this arm. I want you to be able to see this knee right here. I'm gonna drive it right into his chest. The big mistake that people make is they start off by trying to drop this knee right here and I don't have his posture broken down yet. I'm going to run into some problems. So what I want you to do is I want you to use that knee to start to drive his back towards the floor and then you bring your knee across. Once we have that knee across, we slide through. Again, same fundamentals as all my other videos. Chest angled towards the floor, knee towards the ceiling and we want to move our hips back burying our head into that shoulder. I'm here, bending at the legs. I step in, nice and tight. I get that underhook, and I don't cut the knee yet. I drive with that knee. Now I'll cut that knee. Head to the floor, control, scoot through. Again, like I was saying, good fundamentals, chest towards the floor, hips back. My bottom is low, elbow and knee are touching. Step in, and you see I'm leading with that knee. Don't smash it into their face, but you need to go in like you're going to occupy that space. If their face is in that space during competition and stuff, sorry guys, they got to move it, okay? Don't, don't knee them. Here, all the way in. That knee is going to drive towards the floor. I like to put that hand on the floor, cut. I do like to take my head to the floor. Sitting through, chest back. My bottom is low. Controlling, step, knee. Drive, cut that knee, head to the floor, and sit through. High percentage pass, I really like it because it can be uncomfortable and it gives you the underhook on the other side. 